Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sprites are here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Saturday, uh, March 13th, 2021. Got a free pick in college basketball in this report. A couple of quick notes before I get to the free pick. Uh, first of all, I do have an NBA video for Saturday. You can check that out. Also wanted to mention that if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports. Sports.com. Big college basketball season and run continues. We swept on Friday, fresh off the winning day on Thursday where we cashed a seven star on Friday. We swept. We also hit a six star. Uh, we head into Saturday up just under $6,000 on a current run with college basketball sides. And again, it's a two play package. Afternoon games on Saturday. Best of all, it's led by the biggest play I have, a seven star main event. You can get both plays available on my homepage at DocSports.com. And if we cash on Saturday, if we go 2-0, we'll be up almost $7,000 for $100 per unit players. Check that out. College basketball star the show for me on Saturday. We've also got NBA, 83% winning run in pro baskets after a win last night with the Grizzlies. I've got a four-star play in the NHL, hot there. Uh, we've also got a, a five-unit play in UFC action. Last week, we swept a pair of UFC fights. Got one fight tonight. It's a five-star play. And my biggest play thus far of the college football Football FCS spring season goes Saturday. It's a day game, six star play. Check that out also. But again, the star of the show, that seven star play and the multi game package in college basketball on my homepage at docsports.com. All right, let's get to a little college basketball action here. And I'm looking at the battle between Iowa and Illinois. And I'm going to back Illinois in this game. You'll recall when these two teams played a while back, Illinois got the win 80 to 75. That was a January 29th game. Illinois started out a little bit sluggish, but over the rest of the game, the final 30 minutes out of 40, uh, they were able to outscore Iowa by a total of nine points in the game, and they had a comfortable lead in different parts of the second half. They were able to get the win. What I liked about Illinois, not only do they have good guards, but they have the kind of size inside, the kind of guys, not just inside, but who can step out and kind of keep a guy like Luca Garza in check. He had 19 in that Illinois win in late January, but I'm, I'm fine with that. If they can hold Garza at 18 to 20 points, Point range, not let him just clean up and do whatever he wants, then you've got a situation where you're kind of keeping this guy under control, arguably one of the best offensive players in all of college basketball. So I do like Illinois in that spot because of the player matchups they can throw at Garza. They are also a rare breed. Illinois is top 10 in both offensive and defensive adjusted efficiency. They're seventh in both. They're 13th in effective field goal percentage on offense, 31st on defense. I mean, right down the line, both metrics on offense and defense are pretty strong. I'd like to see him hit free throws at a better rate, but I guess you can't have everything right. But we're going to back him here and, uh, and and take him over Iowa on Saturday afternoon. We call for Illinois to get the win, get the cover, and uh, that is our free play in college baskets. Don't forget, star of the show for me is college basketball. A couple of afternoon games led by that seven-star play. We look to sweep again in college baskets. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Saturday in the win column.